The Knicks postgame show is presented by Tri-State Audi. Visit your Tri-State area Audi dealer today. The Knicks tonight at the Wizards. Julius Randle with a candidate for dunk of the year over Daniel Gafford. Wow. We're going to break that down later on from the Wally Wall. And also the great passing to Isaiah Hartenstein. Knicks get a lead early in the fourth and hold on to win tonight in Washington, 112 to 108. Great to have you with us from our Delta MSG studios, Bill Pito, along with Alan Hahn and Wally Zerbiak. We all know in this league, it comes down to crunch time. And Alan, in the last couple of games, the Knicks have been better than the other team when the game has been on the line. Yeah, that's been the important part of it. Obviously, the, the way the Bucks game ended was crushing, was a heartbreaker for everybody. But the fact that now we've had these close games, and this has been, Wally, in the league. We're seeing a double-digit yeah. lead in the second half. It doesn't mean anything. I mean, even the Celtics have lost three games. The Knicks have only lost two this season. One was this week, but these last two, they were able to close them out. Yeah, and it always seems like games in Washington end up like this. There have been some crazy games yeah. to finish. I was just hoping the Knicks could kind of hang on. And how about the road record? 13-8 and eight on the road. This team does not go on vacation when they go on road trips. They make them business trips to come back with wins. When you can win on the road, it says a lot about your preparation. It says a lot about how, as a player, you're preparing in a foreign, in a, in a tough environment to win. And I love the way this team's playing on the road. They held the, held the Wizards to 39% shooting. Tom Thibodeau loves that. And 31% from three. Those are the two most important stats that Tom Thibodeau wants to look at on the stat sheet, and the Knicks are delivering on that end of the floor. And winning the rebounding battle, too. Yes. That's the third piece. Guys, 13 road wins is the second highest total in the entire league. We talked in the pregame about how we like to look at 20 game segments. In the last 20, the Knicks are now 14 and 6. The key tonight, Allen, early fourth quarter run, a run that put the Knicks up by 15, and it gave them enough of a pad to hold on down the street. Yes, and a lot of this had to do with the bench being in the game, but note also that it's Emmanuel Quickly who's moved back to the bench. He was terrific as a starter, and he has become sort of the go-to guy off the bench to provide the offense and provide the scoring, and you see him doing that with these plays. A lot of great ball movement on that one, and we might see that one on the Wally Wall. But the ball movement, the up-tempo, and then Jalen Brunson being out there as well as a playmaker, Huge part of that game, of this game, that allowed the Knicks to get that padding on the road to get this win. And we were talking about it. We noticed with the bench to start the fourth quarter, Brunson and Barrett were in the game. Kyle Kuzma, I'll tell you, 40 big points yeah. tonight. Boy, was he a load to defend down the stretch. He was getting to the basket, knocking down threes, got fouled on that three-pointer, which was huge. Eesh. But boy, can he shoot. Boy, there's the foul. Randall yeah. just kind of touched him in the chest. But Kuzma only made two out of three, so he's still down two. There's a big miss, and the Knicks can't get the rebound. But then Achimura off the in and out. And that was when the Knicks were up four at that point. And then Brunson ended up icing it, doing a great job making his free throws. He's got the free throws all set. He's been making his free throws after that little glitch in the Matrix for a few games where he missed a few that he normally makes. He's a 90% free throw shooter through and through, so you knew he was going to get back to doing that. This is a big-time win. I mean, this is a team in the Wizards who are 16-23. and 23. The Wizards get this game. They kind of inch back towards the Knicks. They're going to get Bradley Beal back eventually. Knicks put away this win on the road, put the Wizards further back in the rearview mirror. Mm -hmm. These type of wins are huge for the Knicks. Yeah, they're six games down of you now. Yep. you still got a couple more games to play against them. And, you know, as we talked about this, the stat to watch tonight was the idea that the Knicks going into this game with the second half of the season just underway had the third hardest strength of schedule left in the league. That's interesting. So when you play teams Very like this that are below you in the standings, under 500 with players missing, you got to get these games. These are important to stack these wins because you know you've got some tough opponents coming up later on in the year. All right, let's uh, give it up again for Jalen Brunson. 34 for Brunson. Amazing. Seven of seven from the line. A couple of those with the game on the line late. And Wally, eight rebounds tonight and eight assists. Yeah, it's, it's listen, it's, he's playing like an all-star. Mm -hmm. I've been saying it. Say it. He's going to make the team, and he's just, the winning is what makes the difference. And there aren't too many more winning-type players in the NBA playing at this level in the fourth quarter. I mean, Alan, you've alluded to his clutch stats. He's top five in all the clutch stats to close games. I mean, these numbers are, 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 are sick. I mean, they're 50% every single night. Yeah. He's got the three ball going. He's knocking down his free throws. You know, he's making plays for his teammates, like Julius Randle's playing off him, doing a great job. 
but he loves banking the wins. That's the thing. It's all about winning with him. He doesn't care how many points he scores. He scores over 30 because he has to to get the win. Mm -hmm. That's all he does. He doesn't worry about his individual numbers. He worries about what do I need to do to get our team the win. He would be fine with getting 10 points if everyone else had it rolling and he didn't have to shoot and he just played a pure point guard type role and got 15 assists, he would be fine with that as long as the team wins. Played 40 minutes tonight again. How many, how many turnovers do you think he had? One. He had one. Yeah. <laughs> like, Great. that's the part also that you have to understand because the ball's in his hands so much right. that there's a lot of pressure. Some of the, the highest scores in this league turn the ball over three times, no four times a game. No question. That's just because you have the ball a lot. Jalen Brunson does not turn over the basketball on a regular basis. And, in fact, he called himself out, if you remember. He always calls late, himself out. We're sitting there saying, why are you blaming right. yourself for anything? The other night when he said, you know, I can't turn the ball over there, I can't have turnovers. It's like he had one turnover. But that's the thing. He's a perfectionist about his game. But he also, as Wally said, is what's the winning play? That's the play I'm making. Yeah. And on some nights he's got to be the scorer. On some nights he's got to set somebody up to be the scorer. All right, so the all-star voting is something we're going to talk about in the pregame show on Sunday. Pregame at 1230, Knicks in Detroit at 1. They're How's at he the not Pistons. in the top 10? That's no question. That, come on, Knicks fans. Let's, go. Let's vote for this guy. Let's go. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I, I would think he's going to be a coach's it, it, selection. It, 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 is he not? I mean, is there any? It's I, three times votes today. Today. Uh, yeah, so you got time. Yeah, Get on the app now and start app. voting for this Let's guy. Go. He's earning it. In six <laughs> games now, he's averaging 33 a game since he's been back from the hip injury. And so, Randall and Barrett. Right, way. but you're right. It, it works as the starters will get their votes and they'll be starters. And then the coaches in the East decide the reserves and there'll be seven players that are picked out of reserves. Right. And, Wally, you know this. I mean, they look at how's the team doing. It's all about and winning. If you're winning you got a better shot at making it. Tom Thibodeau said it, and it's tough for the coaches. Like, they don't want to be those deciding votes. But what, what tips the scales is what team and what player is affecting winning, and what is that team's record. That's what it's all about when it comes down to those last seven spots. And by the way, Randall tonight, we showed you the dunk, 23-16. and 16. He's yeah. got 15 double-doubles in his last 16 games. Mm -hmm. Awesome. A couple of guys on the Knicks, boy, Randall and Brunson, playing big-time basketball. 